This is not just one space. This can become an infinite space and kind of end up like Google Sites or PowerPoint, depending on your preference. So here I'm gonna do my plus sign. This gets me to add a page. So if I just want a blank page, I'm gonna choose whiteboard. Now what I'm gonna do before I do that is I'm gonna write a smiley face just so we know these are separate pages, right? So I'm doing my plus sign, add a whiteboard page, go ahead and do the same thing. Now I have a new page. To toggle between, just use these arrows. So, right, I have an arrow here and an arrow here, okay? So I'm just gonna toggle back to one. There's my one page and that to two. Here's my two page. So that's to add a page, an empty space. There's more though in this plus sign where I add. You probably saw it when you first touched it. We have built-in graphic organizers. I can go through brainstorming webs, frayer models. I have columns, story maps, tables, lots of stuff. You see the Venn diagram in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull up a T-chart. Now I have three pages in my lesson. Three, there's my second with my star and my first with my smiley face. If I don't want to do the arrows, I can touch the number, go back to my chart. Okay, so go ahead, pause me if you need to, practice pulling up what graphic organizer you want and come back. Now that we practice, I want to show you a way, right? What if in your class you are working on word patterns and you are doing E, 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 A. So with my text, write to text feature, I can have this set up and I can go ahead and write words. Like I'm going to write tree, pausing so it turns on its own. It doesn't connect to my other one. And I'm going to write bean. We all have word work skills from our grade levels, things we would want our students to be noticing and focusing on. Maybe I'm in an upper grade and I want it to be um, focused on the type of word, something that we've been working on maybe in our reading. So now my students, because I did text, I can have all these at the bottom and they could come up and they could sort. I could even have them say, all right, and you're going to highlight the spelling pattern. Example of how I could use this on the board interacting, engaging with my students, with me or without me. Okay, let's go back and add another page. That's the plus sign. This time I want to focus on manipulatives. I'm choosing the manipulatives. Built in, ready to use. We have money, calendar, fractions, clocks, making words, math expressions. There's musical notes, shapes, base 10 blocks. And what's fun is that in Lumio, which we'll be getting to later with your math, with, sorry, with your EdTech IS, or maybe you've already done it, you have even more manipulatives available to you. So I'm going to choose clocks. Go ahead and choose which one you want. It's going to make a new page again. And this time, so I want my kids to come up and write time or draw time, or I could even say, here's my clock and it shows 2.35, right? Sorry, my arrows are a little wonky. And I say, all right, I want you to draw a last time, 15 minutes from my time. So we can make this for higher teachers, or we can just say, right, for our lower grades, we can say, okay, it's one o'clock, and the students come up and they draw one o'clock. Or on my last example, I did, I'm gonna do 3.30 and I want my students to come up and write 3.30. So go ahead, go into the manipulatives, see the ones you like, think of ways you would use it and come back. 